Hello, friends. How are we? Happy Friday night. How are we? A week before Christmas festivities start. Very exciting. We'll see what kind of turnout we have tonight, as I'm sure people are starting to travel, starting to get ready for the holidays, or hanging out at home, cleaning, maybe still putting up your tree, maybe just managing to get through life. But that's why we sit and craft together, right? So um, hello, welcome, happy Friday night. Very happy to have you guys here for whoever, if there's only four of us that show up, you know I love it and I'm happy to have you guys here with me. Um, let's see, what do we, uh, there's lots of things to talk about. Lots and lots of things to talk about before we get started tonight in our holiday crafting series shaker boxes and i'm going to make two different shaker boxes one with a frame a chipboard frame it's a tim holtz one i don't know if these are um new ones the baseboard base cards or if it's last year's but any kind of chipboard frame is an option i have dice so i'm going to do a stocking shaker as well because you know i do two for each card and then i'm just going to be using ephemera and some different things really we could do a week of shaker cards. So whatever you have at home, you can just uh, make a little Polaroid frame. You can use a die cut, anything that has an outer edge that you can put a sheet of clear acrylic, put some foam dot or foam tape around it, put some jiggly bits in it and make a shaker. So um, I might even grab, I have rub-ons and a few different fun things. So I might have to move around a little bit tonight. Because guess what I've been working on? Print shop. And I have to say, you guys are going to love that class. So um, just to give you a heads up, you have about a week and a little bit if you want to get your print shop orders in for the weekend event kit. There is going to be probably two prep classes because we're going to do a couple tricky interactive bits. Like, I love the one. It's not, I didn't reinvent the wheel, but we've never added it to one of my classes. So get ready for it. It's, it's going to be awesome. And I have, and if you've played along with me, you know, one of the things I do is I start separating. I'll separate all the paper to what will work good in the layouts. What do I want to have for the albums? Then I start separating all the ephemera. So all the ephemera, there is so much stuff in this kit there's no way we're going to go through it all and then i also decided there will be sneak peeks um probably by the end of the weekend because i'm going to work on it uh throughout the weekend as i do other things as well because doing these two lives a week kind of ate into the time that i normally would be prepping and doing things so with that being said all those things that we kind of talk about and hey i'm going to do this and do that there's only so many hours in the day. And I, I stayed up last night till 4.30. Stayed up this morning till 4.30. So uh, I'm just trying to manage all of the things. But um, I'm excited. I did a lot of fussy cutting. So if you are joining me for Print Shop, just know there will be prep. We will do prep classes. There will be two prior to. I, I'm going on vacation for a week. So I will be back in around, around January 7th. I will open the group up shortly after that, and we will make a plan for prep. We'll do some of the fussy cutting ahead of time. We will do some of the, there are gonna be a couple of intricate interactives. So I'm going to probably do two prep classes for that. So just know that, okay? Two prep classes for that, because the one, I just wanna walk you through it not during the class. And I decided I'm gonna put a few, fewer pages in it, but more interactive so that we can really focus on stuff and it's not as much of, lots of room to bulk up and put pages in the album. So I'm excited for that, yay. It will be very, very exciting. So that and friends, guess what's up on crop, uh, Cruise and Crop. Cruise and Crop. The two Greek cruises are up there. I have not sent anything out. So if you're watching tonight, they are posted on Cruising Crop for 2024. 
Uh, so just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I have not sent the newsletter out. I'm going to do that over the weekend. But if you guys are here, you get first notice of that. So that's the other thing that I worked on this week. Uh, put to bed my uh, next Christmas collection. That's done. Uh, we now just put it out there to get it manufactured and all those things. So that's very exciting. And then what else have I been doing this week? Well, I was with you on Wednesday. Loved that live. Did you guys like that with the little gift bag? So if you guys didn't join or missed it, this is what we created on Wednesday. The little full gift bag, which I think would be great for cards. Uh, for putting, uh, what do you call that? There's a fly in my house. How is there a fly when it's like minus four outside? Like I said, Rich is like, there's a fly in the house. I'm like, I don't know where he came back from. So the cat came back. So he's, if you see me going like this, there's a fly flying around my head. Not fun. So Wednesday we did that. And now today is shakers. And don't forget, what are there already? three giveaways posted three giveaways tonight is going to be some scoreboards that um the punch board for the pockets a whole bunch of different things that will go in shaker boxes a bunch of adhesive it's going to be a good giveaway for uh today as well so if you've been eyeing up that punch uh pocket punch board it's in the giveaway with the mini um scoreboard so just good tools things I almost ate that fly. So you guys are going to kill yourself laughing if I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I go. <laughs> Rich is laughing on the other side. Of the, can you hear him? Because that fly just almost threw in my mouth, right? Uh, so anyway, yeah, very exciting. So how you guys doing? I'm very happy to have you here tonight. The sweater is probably going to kill me. <laughs> the heat of this sweater. So um, yeah, good times. Friends, too. The other thing, if you were in Evergreen and Holly, I am uh, going to announce it on the board tonight, but I'm going to go live for an hour for that impromptu bonus class on Sunday. I think it should be, I think I'm going to do 1 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday uh, for an hour. I'm going to prep things. I'll let you know what I'm doing. I will lay it all out, show you guys what I'm doing. But uh, even if you can't join me live, I need to fit it in somewhere and that's where I'm going to do it. So I just wanted you uh, to know that. And the other thing is I will be sharing the sneak peeks of Print Shop because I do have kits left and I have this week to ship them out. Otherwise, I can ship it when I get back after my vacation, but you might want to get in on that. It's a good one. It's, it's probably going to be one of my favorite albums I've ever done aside from color study probably like that's probably one of my favorites this one is going to be so good you like my earrings channeling my holidays so any questions friends so hi meredith hi suzanne hi robin hi jordan how are you so happy to be here finally on your christmas break i love it devin just finished her last exam today riley has one on monday and uh then we have Kids just hanging out around the house. So I want to make sure that I have time to do that too, right? So it's going to be good. Hi, Yessie. Hi, Irene. Lori, any questions before we get started? I'm going to flip the camera on and we can talk while we work, right? But I just wanted you guys to know all of the things, things I think, right? I really liked Wednesday's demo and looking forward to tonight. Shaker boxes are a mystery to me. I love them. I love doing them. Um, when I flip the camera around, I'll give, I'll grab the, what I did last year with Tim Holtz and, uh, warm wishes. Cause that was our project for last year. We did a lot of projects last year, right? The winners of the drawing, it's all in part of the announcement. It is all going to be drawn on the 27th or they close on the 27th and drawn on the 28th, something like that. And I will post them on each giveaway. So I, it, that is where they'll be posted. And then you need to get in touch with me. If I have your email address, cause maybe you've shopped with me or something, I'll reach out, but I won't have any way if it's just some random new person that I have never emailed before. So all of the giveaways, uh, it's all listed in the description of the giveaway. 
Okay, so worthwhile to a lot of people I find um, just get in there and put their comment, but don't read through the details. So uh, that will probably be super helpful, right? Is uh, when you read through it, you'll see, right? So I'm gonna flip the camera. You don't need to look at me anymore, <laughs> right? Don't need to look at me anymore. And let's get right into it. So first, thank you for joining me live on this Friday night. I'm very excited to be playing with you guys, doing some shaker boxes. Um, I will answer any questions that you have. If you're watching after the fact, thank you as well for uh, checking these very long videos because we do them live because it's not just about like free class, free technique. It's really about community. So these longer videos are a chance for us at the end of a long week to connect and uh, chat with each other and make art and crafting and play with paper and glue. So that is what we do. And now let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera. And uh, as you guys know, I best grab myself a drink, but uh, I meant to do it before I went live. And like I said, all day today, I have been playing with print shop and doing some interactive stuff that required the maths and then built some things too big and had to restart. So, and right before I came live, I did this really fun page that was too wide for the book. So I have to go grab more paper and remake the whole thing. But I love it. I love that I can work out all of the kind of little bumps and issues before we sit down to do it, right? So let me grab, I'm gonna grab my pop and I'm gonna grab my uh, shaker box that we did or shaker. Rich, there are two flies in here. Where the heck are they coming from? It's winter. It is winter in Southern Ontario, Canada. It's so gross. Just a sec, friends. I don't, where, somebody explain that to me. Where the heck would they be coming from? I know that sometimes they come if you have like a thaw, right? If it warms up, but it's not warm here. And there are two humongous black flies flying around. And I'm looking at them going, don't really understand where that's coming from. Hi, Yessi, how are you? Uh, they're cold looking for your sweater, right, Karen? Probably. Uh, need to craft and create. Yeah, a drain probably, but normally, right? This doesn't happen in the winter. I've never had flies in my house in December, ever. So it's driving me crazy. But now there's two of them. He's bring, brought his friend. So if he, he let, he's probably going to land right on, in our shaker box. There might be a dead fly in my shaker box. Um, so let me show you for some of our friends here tonight, they've never seen or, or maybe never made, or you're like, what the heck is a shaker box? So this is what we made last year. So a shaker box is something where we can contain little jiggly bits. So this is the one we created last year, and I'm going to use another frame from uh, Tim Holtz this year. I think it is last year. These are these are his uh, baseboards from last year, but any chipboard shape will work. But my favorite, I have to show you every time we do this with this flip book. So this was Warm Wishes. This was my collection. Look at the little door with the mouse. You guys remember? We made the little mouse shaker box. Love it. But my favorite is this one where we used alcohol ink to uh, tint some pearls. And then we have like little vintage ornaments. So I love that. So that's a shaker box. That's what we're gonna be doing. Um, yeah, the flies don't wanna miss our community time. Well, you know what they can do? They can buzz off. I am not enjoying that at all. So for tonight, I'm adjusting my stuff. I thought it would be fun to do a tag that is a stocking. So I have these dies. I had got all my share sale links ready and then I had no time to put them up. So I will post them after, but uh, a sh little shaker box stocking. We're going to do that. 
And then we're going to use, this is one of the gel plate prints that I had, but you could ink any kind of background just to give it kind of a base. But I thought, how fun will it look like that, right? And then put the little snowman on there. So we're gonna layer bits on the plastic and layer bits inside so we can have different uh, layers of dimension with the little jiggly bits going around. So have you ever seen this fake snow or these pom-pom balls? I bought these at the dollar store. So I'm not gonna lie, they are really kind of a pain in the bum because of the static. So there's probably things you could do, maybe like put, if you have static guard, you could spray it, or um, there's some there in there, Natalie, but I, like I said, it is hard sometimes being a crafter who does this for a profession, but also has a family who require <laughs> your time and attention and trying to balance all of the things. So um, had a lengthy conversation with my mother-in-law this week about it and my mom because I burn the candle at both ends and in the middle. So it is, right? I promise lots of things and then can't actually manage to get all of it done. So you guys have witnessed it. I just do the best I can, right? So I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, the share sale links. So I got them started, right? Put a dryer sheet in a container with them first. And I meant to go and get the dryer sheet, but I forgot it. So they're gonna kind of stick on the plastic and I'm not too worried about it. So I tinted them with some uh, alcohol ink. I tried first to tint them with some distress stain, distress spray stain, and it didn't dry fast enough. The alcohol ink, because it's alcohol, I put on and was much happier with the result. So I put it on, I rolled them around in my little cup shot glass of, of snow, and then I kind of rolled them between two sheets of paper towels, and they're better. They're not sticking together, because at first they were really sticking together. And then there's some glitter in there. So I'm going to use these with the snowman uh, and then mix some other bits. Other things I have when you talk about things that you use for your shaker, I have this that looks like faux um, glass, right? It has that look of faux glass glitter. But normally this is, some of it is so real glass. So be careful you don't cut your hands on that. Uh, but a lot of it is just little shards of plastic. I found these. Look at little candy canes. Uh, love these. So it's just another type of glitter, which these, all this moxie glitter, a lot of it was for when you're doing pouring, right? And different um, crafts, but they work great. I have these little candy canes. This is part of the giveaway. I'm giving a bag of these away with the giveaway, but little uh, peppermint candies. I have sequins. So really any, ooh, and there's a hole in the bag. Dear Liza, dear Liza, right? There's a hole in the bag. I gotta be careful. Keep flinging sequins all around. Ooh. So that gives you an idea of what I'm gonna use for my shaker boxes. So really you could use anything that uh, will kind of shake or move around inside the shaker box, right? The other thing that I have is double-sided tape. So you need something that has dimension. So when you layer it around, it's going to sit up and create like a little inner space inside your shaker box so the things can move around. And depending on um, what you're using, like when I showed you the shaker box with the faux ornaments inside of it, they're pretty big. So I had to do a double layer of the um, tape. Otherwise they wouldn't move. They would have been stuck inside the box. So it's another thing you kind of just got to play around with. The other thing you need is something that will act as a clear layer and contain all that fun. So I have back in the day, American Crafts, we are memory keepers. When all of us were making a lot of 3D projects and, and even like boxes to put cupcakes, we were doing all of that stuff. They used to sell packages of this and um, just kind of acrylic. 
and I bought myself like quite a few of them. So that's what I'm using, but you most certainly can use any kind of plastic sheet. Any other suggestions, you guys? What other things do you use for that? So that is what my layer is going to be. And I could put the snowman on the outside. I could put them on the inside. We'll decide. I could put a tree. One of our painted trees could go on the inside. So we could do kind of like a little diorama idea. We can put some uh, rub-ons on the front. Some little a label would be fun across here. So as we play, we'll decide what we're going to do. But we'll get some of the stuff prepped, right? We can start prepping some of our stuff. So I think I'll do this guy second, and I'm going to do the stocking first. Clear packaging. Yeah, any kind of clear packaging. Um, even, yeah, things that, like, line your package. Like, it, this is a great uh, thing to keep in mind for reduce, reuse, recycle, right? That you can grab some of your materials that might have a clear um piece inside so you can see what's in the box and you can deconstruct those boxes and keep a lot of that stuff right bakery boxes yeah anything like that right yeah a lot of people will do that for raised shakers instead of maybe using the foam tape you could use cardboard like anything that will cr create dimension definitely right lots and lots of options what about the clear cellophane that comes with your stamp packages definitely if you don't mind that you're um you don't have them sandwiched between the two pieces of plastic, you sure could use that as well and just give them a little wipe. So definitely. Yeah, overhead transparency. Back in the day, you could go to the office store, um, like Office Depot, Staples kind of idea. And remember when we used to do overhead projectors? you could get a whole that's probably the first time i bought them years ago because i've been crafting forever uh was a whole box of overhead projector clear cellophane sheets or, or plastic sheets that uh you could write on when you were doing overhead projector i always wanted to be a teacher just so i could write on the overhead projector <laughs> now that's not a thing now it's not a thing right Okay, let's get started. I'm going to do the die cutting first and let's work on my stocking. So guess what, friends? If you do not have die cuts or a Cricut or a Silhouette or Brother Scan and Cut, you could just cut a square and cut a square from the inside with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. If you have punches, you could punch some pieces out. Biggest thing is you need something that is an outer shape that has an opening so you have somewhere to put your shakers and you can see through it, okay? So that is your biggest thing. So I'm gonna start. This will be the second one I'm gonna do tonight. I'm not gonna finish like fully the tag live. I will just share them like I did with these ones, right? But I'm going to share the technique portion with you. But if I do all of it, we'll be here till tomorrow, right? So it'll be good. When I was a, a lab TA and use the overhead projector, I often would burn my arm. So happy it's retired. See, Kari, good to know that don't worry, Vicky, you didn't miss out on anything because you would have got like third degree burns. So thank you, friend. You always find a reason. So it's like, it's okay, Vicky, you didn't miss out on anything. You would have, you would have burned your arm off. So, oh, the other idea I had, and I was trying to see if I had square dies because um, I could do all of the measuring and cutting is the other thing I think would be fun is to layer boxes like a square and a rectangle to make them look like presents. That was one of my ideas tonight and it didn't come together because I ran out of time because I was working on uh, my print shop and uh, thought it would be fun. And I'll tell you what I, I found. So I'm like, why do I have this out? So see the shape, I was going to cut that out and cut it in half. And that was going to be the ribbon on top of my gifts. So maybe this will find its way in there. But I thought, look at how am I going to make a ribbon that would be easy? And I was going to make this outline flower, cut it in half. And I would have had two ribbons for my um, little gift shaker boxes that I'm not making now. 
but wouldn't that be fun? And it's just a great way to look at using your dies in different ways. It's really kind of a paper piecing hack, right? So anyway, let's do that. Oh, I just made that for my granddaughter's card. What one did you just make, Eileen? What did you just make for your granddaughter's card? I missed that. So I have my, move all my stuff out. So I'm going to die cut my shapes. What are you guys, what shapes of shaker are you going to do tonight? Or are you just watching? Who's playing along? This is a stick. This mat is really sticky. So when you're watching me and I can't pick anything up, it's because it's like a sticky kind of rubber mat. So it's often um, a little tricky when I'm doing it. You're going to do a star shaker is a great thing, right? Hi, Denise. How are you? Stack square and rectangles. You just did that. See, Eileen? Great minds think alike. I love it. Okay. So I'm just moving my stuff out of the way so I can pull in my Sizzix machine. That Sizzix, and I still owe my friend Jen an email. I think I'm a total loser, which I kind of am sometimes with email responses. Uh, sent me a new Sizzix machine. So have you guys noticed that? I don't have my ancient one anymore. I actually have a new one. Is it similar to the media? map no no it is um it's just a different type of uh uh craft mat but i like it because it's huge and it covers my whole table so anyway i have my very beat up plates because i have new ones but i didn't want to use it yet and this i'm telling you friends if you have not bought yourself a magic mat yet do you ever have those dies? Like I have this Tim Holtz dies that are uh, the tiny little um, greenery, the greenery branches and stuff, and or snowflake dies that are really hard to cut. Even if you put little shims in and do all the things, you can never get it to cut. This thing, man, total magic. Total magic. I love them. I will buy multiples of them in case scrapbook.com never does that again. What size, uh, what would be a good size machine for beginners? I love my die cutting machine. Now there's tons of them out there. I have, I like the manual die cutting machine because I do still have my deep steel roll dies. I have, uh, two electronic one from Sizzix and one from uh, Crafter's Companion, I think. And then I have electronic ones. So, uh, I, yes, is Gemini. Who makes I have that one too, right? And I have the, the plus. I have them all. I have all of them. I buy all of them because this is what I do for a living. So I have to say I love the electronic ones. If you do a lot of die cutting. But I love the manual. Too. If you don't have any kind of dexterity issues or anything, I still love this one. Um, I will never get rid of my manual die cutting, even though I own all of the things. Crafter's Companion. Who's the other one? Spellbinders does has some great machines. We are memory keepers. I own that one too because I do work with American Crafts, so I pretty much have all of their tools. But if you said, is this something like Vicky, is it worth it? I'd be that friend that says, yes, it is. You need die cutting machines. If you are doing this crafting stuff, oh my goodness, the world it opens up and makes everything just so much easier. So I'm not the friend that maybe you want to ask those things because I'll tell you, yes, you need it. The one I'm using is the Sizzix Big Shot. Um, I love it. I love I love it. I've, I've used Sizzix tools for a long time, but I do own the one from We Are Memory Keepers and I love it. I had a, I have a cuddle bug. Um, that one I kind of moved on from. I have Tim's one that looks like the suitcase. If you came over here, you'd be like, holy crap, Vicki, how many die cutting machines do you have? And I probably have eight of them. So, you know what I mean? But I've also been doing this uh, as a, like a career for 20 years. So just think about it, right? The cuddle bug is discontinued. Yeah, I still have mine. Still have it, but okay. 
sorry, and I digress. So I'm going to be cutting out my uh, shaker that is going to be a stocking, right? I think that will be fun. So this one is going to be very simple. I'm just going to fill it with magic, maybe put a little journaling on it, decorate the little stocking, but I'm going to be cutting the base out of pattern paper and the top out of just white, just white. I'm going to keep my stocking pretty traditional. And then I will also cut out the a backing and I will cut out the acrylic piece. True. She has a few machines in her place. I do. I do. And uh, I have the pink one, which I'm very excited. Uh, scrapbook.com sent me the pink, their pink machine. So excited about that one too. But um, yeah. But if you ask me, I would tell you, yes, you need it. And I would really say I would have an electronic one and the manual one. And I love the little side kit kind of sizes too. If you do like a lot of smaller die cutting, I might have missed it, but what brand is the stocking from uh, scrapbook.com and I'll put my share sale links up later, but uh, I'm so not organized because you would think it'd be smart, right? That I do these lives. I put all these classes up for free and the easiest way to help me is by supplying my share sale links and I got it started today and then had to make dinner and all the rest and then ran into an issue. So if you follow any of my share sale links and you decide to put it in your cart, I would very much appreciate it. Cost you nothing, but it helps me bring you all of this content, right? But this stocking one, they just sent me and I love it. And I think their dies are on sale too this week. So um, if you ask me, uh, are the, the scrapbook.com dies good? I tell you they're excellent and I own all of them. Every single one of their dies I own. I love them because the other thing is they, they are very um, inexpensive. I don't find they have great sales. So that's what I'm using tonight. Let's pick a paper. So I, we could go, what, what do we want to do? Traditional, what color stocking do we want? Because think I want to use reds and greens on the inside of my stocking. So, ooh, that might be fun. What do you guys think? Are you on board with that? Will we see enough of it? Yeah, I have his Vagabond machine. I love it. And I don't want to use it because I don't want it to break. Because like everything that I have that is Tim stuff, I absolutely love it. So what do you think? But let's see, how much of it are we going to see? I love this pattern too. Give me all of the uh, black and white plaids. So we're not going to see a ton of it, but it might be okay. Should we just, let's cut it and see what happens. Let's just cut it and see what happens. So I'm going to grab some uh, scissors and cut a piece out. Your um, your Vagabond just broke. Yeah, sad days, right? Sad days. Let's try it. What do we have to lose, right? What do we have to lose? So now you have to decide which way do you want your stocking to go, right? I, I'm okay with it going this way because when you use dyes, if you're new, there is a flat side and a little raised edge. If you guys can see that, that is what cuts using pressure. So you would put the raised edge side down on your paper. So if I wanted my stocking to be going this way, I would cut it from the back of this paper, right? And then I could flip it and the stocking could go the opposite way, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. So I am going to layer this on here and then decide where I want to cut. What do I want to see? I am kind of happy with that. I'm going to take a piece of washi tape. I'm going to line up this guy. I'm going to tape it down and that's how I'm going to cut it. And that's how I'm going to cut it. Hello from Chile. Hola. 
your big shot broke too. Yeah. You know, these, these tools will last. Like I find it's a great product. I like my Sizzix products. Um, I have some fun things that they sent me that I need to do a uh, Friday night live using them. I think I'm happy with that. Do I want to put it up? Yeah. So all I'm doing is just trying to make sure there's enough space around it, right? So I'm just going to tack that down and I will cut. So the inside is cut, right? I'm going to put it on my mat. Make sure, because this is a long one, that this is centered on there. And then I'm going to put one of these janky plates on top. Make a nice sandwich. And we'll cut. Hi, Kelly. How are you? And I just like to go through it twice. You got a, a big kick from Michael's for a $5 as a grab bag. That is some uh, awesome shopping. Like that is a great deal, right? So, and then I have another little guy that I can use later on a card or a tag, right? center but there is the piece for my stocking okay so i will just set that guy aside this could be a shaker as well you could have this on the front of a card and you could do a shaker inside of this piece as well Instead of having a piece that is separate, like a die cut, all of these could be used for something else. So don't throw them away, right? Or even back this with a different color of pattern paper. You could cut it again and paper piece it, if that makes sense. Put another, cut it again. Wouldn't that be fun? You could actually think about that with three different or two different ones. And you could have a layered stocking inside your die cut. So whatever you want to do, or <laughs> let's just talk about all the things you could cut another one of these out of a different color, layer it inside and do a shaker, but then have an outline of a different color of um, stocking. So there's just keep playing with it, friends. That is why I love paper crafting and crafting in general is are all the fun things that you can do, right? So things that I need to do still, right, is cut. I want to cut another piece that we want to back this. So just remember, I can back this simply with white, or we could put a coordinating pattern inside that you will see through the pocket, right? Through the pocket. So let's decide what we want to do. Do we want to, oh, here's the paper. Do we want to layer something inside? which we could look at, I could do yellow and go very non-traditional, but it would totally match with what I'm already doing. I, I kind of dig that friends. I kind of dig that. And then what are we going to put inside this one? Like I could put those red candies still and mix any of the little seed beads with it. So that is an option. I know some of you are looking at it and going, no, don't do it but you know I'm crazy like that. I like non-traditional sometimes. The other thing that I could use if I could find one is, look at this one is kind of pretty. Ooh, I like that. I only have a little piece of it left, but I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with this uh, bluish colored snowy thing. I'm gonna use the yellow still, but not on as my backing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look what it is. It's the other side of this paper I just used. How funny is that? Do that. I like it. So I'm going to do it. So let's decide. Can we get some of that snow? And I'm going to cut some of the uh, border as well just so I can get some of that snow inside of there. In a perfect world, there'd be more snowflakes that I could fit in there, but 
this world is definitely not a perfect one, is it? Oh, maybe some of it will show up. Maybe it won't, but we'll just go with that. I'm going to put white on the trim, I think. I think I'm going to, my. I want it to look like just a traditional fuzzy Santa beard topper, but we could still put glitter and all the other things on it, right? So that is going to be the inside. I like it very much. My words are going sideways. Don't even care. So, you know, some of you that might bother, then bother you. Don't do it then, right? Just make sure your words are going this way. Vicky is crazy. So guess what else I need to do is cut a piece of the clear bit that will go inside, right? So I will do this. Who loves making shakers? Who has never made a shaker card? Who's never heard of a shaker card until we're doing it tonight? Who's excited to make a shaker card? Answer all of my questions, please. All right, answer all of my questions. So you might not be able to see it, but that little piece of plastic is on here. And now I'm gonna die cut that with the largest die as well. This is my first time, but I've seen them, yeah. Guess what I did for the first time today? And I'm very excited because it's going to be in the print shop album is uh, I made a waterfall, a waterfall uh, technique for inside my, oops, see, now look, it didn't cut it. I have to add a little bit more pressure. So let me show you. I love when things didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. So what do we need to do? We need to add a shim. There's not enough pressure to push the pattern through the plastic. I'm gonna line it back up because I can feel it. So I don't need to get a new piece of plastic, but I do need to cut it again. And to add a shim, all I'm gonna do is layer a piece of cardstock on top. What do we have laying around here? Here's some. Let me grab my paper trimmer. So with that waterfall flap that is going to go in the um, in the mini album, so it's freaking awesome. We're going to be doing that as one of our prep classes. So I'm doing a couple of different uh, mixed media techniques and interactive bits in the album. You guys are joining me in January for that class. And uh, it's going to be very fun. So let's see if one sheet is going to be enough or if I have to fold that in half. But uh, it was definitely not enough pressure. Okay. Keep the door knob. It is very hard sometimes, right? Because you do not have a lot of space when I'm trying to fit everything in the camera. Let's try it. Was it enough? Still not enough, friends. Look at, it's not cutting it at all. That is very unusual. So let's beef up the pressure again. What's funny is it's totally leaving an impression in my magic mat, but it is not cutting through the paper. I'll try one more time. 
And if I can't get it to go through, I'm just going to cut it out using the embossed bits. Okay, that is a lot of pressure. I just folded the paper in half to make a deeper shim. Yeah, if it doesn't cut out, I'll just uh, cut it out with scissors. Yeah, it's not cutting it. Crazy. Look at that crazy. So no biggie. We'll just do this. not hard to cut because it's all there's a whole ledge left so it embossed it it did not cut through it which has not happened before but no biggie we can always find a solution right bulletproof acrylic really because it is totally in debt it embedded into the magic mat but by having that edge, at least it makes it easier to cut it, right? Okay, let's make sure it fits. I might take a little extra of the edge off because it's a little deep. That's what happens when we do it live, right? When you watch these videos and they're edited, it makes everything look like they're so easy and the crafter who is creating doesn't have any issues. A lot of us have issues as we're making. Um, a lot of us test before we ever would put it in a video or do it live, right? So never feel like it, it you, um, it's out of your ability or, or you can't do the things because the perfect that you see in a video on YouTube or on a, on, um, Instagram is not, you're only seeing the highlight reels. So that works. We all have issues, right? I, I never sit down and it just all perfectly works out. Sometimes it's all pretty easy. Um, but look at, we just work through that together. I just want you guys to see, you could be playing at home going, why does it look so easy for so-and-so when they do it? It's usually not. It's not, right? perfect and we have our so there's our pieces right and i just need the top of my stocking and i think white i think i'm going to cut it out of white friends Are we okay with that my little white stocking top and then we can put some glitter some stickles on it And see if I can cheat and cut two out at once. And then just keep the cut cleaning area or the working area a little bit clean. Let's put that little shim in there again. There. Good and tight. Let's see. Just because I layered it, I'm trying to cheat and see if I can cut two out at the same time. So I was able to do it. There's one and two. Try not to rip it because when you put all that pressure on, right, it can glue your. Um, glue your washi tape to your top. Love it. 
and then I made it two so I can just make it a little thicker if I want to. Okay, let's get rid of all of this junk because we don't need it again. Clean up our little work area. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I've said it a, a couple times, but um, print shop, right? We kitted it. We shipped it. I just started working on it because I said to Rich, this is something I have to get done. I got to start working on that. Uh, and now what I, the kind of person I am now is I don't want to do anything else. I just want to sit and work on my scrapbooking, right? I love it. So there, let's just move the things out of the way. I have to tighten the uh, screws in my chair. Like I told you guys, one day I'm going to be sitting here and I'm going to hit the floor because the chair falls apart. But I'd have to get tools. I need tools. But every time I get up, I can feel the legs move on it. So I'm just tightening it a little bit, friends, so <laughs> I don't hit the floor. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the pieces that are the top of the stocking. We have the base that a little bit of the uh, black is on there just because I wanted some snowflakes in there. We have the clear piece that will layer behind the opening for our shaker box. And we're going to start building. Thanks, Natalie. Okay. I was just dusting that off on my pants. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue the clear piece to the opening, the uh, stocking with the opening. Okay. So I'm going to glue that guy down. I'm just going to use tape runner when I find it. You could use your um, double-sided tape. I don't know if I would use liquid glue. Do you guys have much success with that? I just get nervous when it's non-porous like a plastic. But uh, maybe some of your liquid glue works. Let me know. Let all of our friends know what you have had success with. So I just want to make sure none of it is hanging out. I can trim it too if it is, right? There we go. So now we have our clear layer on, right? So we can decide right now, do we want to put a rub on or anything on top? I don't think on this one. I think we will on the next one. So, right, I'm not gluing this down yet, but this gives you an idea. That's what it's going to look like. You will see all the snowflakes through it, right? And uh, now I'm going to put the foam around it. So my foam tape is going to be too wide. I'm going to have to do... Here's options. So you could take a sheet of double-sided uh, foam tape and you could die cut that and you could have had a fully perfect piece. Do I have any? Do, do. do you know what I mean? I could use the dies and I could cut right through this double-sided foam tape and then put that there right? If I had a bigger piece, which I probably do, but that's an option. I can also, I might just, cause this might be easier. I might just cut pieces and fit it around. You just got to make sure that there's no openings as you do it. Right? So let's start with that. I think, but yes, if you use your dies on a sheet of this or craft foam, 
like uh, craft foam that has uh, the adhesive on it. You could totally use that, but I'm just gonna start kind of piecing my glue in. Your biggest thing is you don't want to see it in any of your openings. So just keep double checking. Okay, we're good. And I'm going to just now cut another piece that is a little bit on an angle. And we'll just piece it all the way around. Okay. Yeah, foam tape comes in a sheet. And you can also use, um, you could also use craft, like, what your kids would use, the craft foam, right? That has adhesive on one side and then just glue the other side of it. What other things do you guys use? This is always, right, as a community, um, it's great when we can share different ideas. Yeah, the thicker the edges are, the better, right? The thicker the edges are, the better. This Is this a little finicky? 100% it is. Is it worth it? I think so. But for some of you guys, you might be like, I'm going to do a star that has a way thicker outer edge. Like when we do the frame, it's thicker. You use foam sheets or fun foam. Yeah. So that would be awesome if I had it or if I had organized myself <laughs> and had it ready. But because I always have the things around, right? But uh, this will work too. It's what I have. And sometimes, I don't know if you guys are like me, um, I will just make things work if it means I don't have to get up and look for it. My friend Greta. Um, yes, and you can get different widths as well, right? My friend Greta works with Queen and Company. And Queen and Company has amazing shaker card products. The dyes, the, all of it. Are you guys familiar with that at all? You'll want to look up her work. Absolutely amazing crafter. We've been friends for a very long time. And she makes some of the most beautiful cards, shaker cards. We'll see you later, Karen. Yes, it's so sad, my friend. You work so hard all week. I want you to hang out with me. And, right, you can only make it for so long before you're like, I'm tapping out. I need to go to bed. I love Queen & Company, too. Wendy, the owner of Queen & Company, was one of the first companies I ever did any kind of design work with, if you guys weren't aware of that, right? Um, absolutely adore her. And my friend Greta and I, we worked together at Queen and Company for years, for years and years. And she is still there doing amazing, amazing things, right? You just bought their gnome shaker. I bet you, like, literally, she will show me, oh, look at what I'm working on. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, that is the cutest product I've ever seen. And that's what I find with Queen and Company, right? Yeah, they've been making stuff for shaker boxes for freaking ever like forever wendy um with the different little embellishments do you remember all the brads and all the things and they used to do pattern paper they used to do tons of kind of disney-esque stuff so yeah been a fan forever but if you love shakers you want to check out queen and company you will not be disappointed Oh, fun fact. Did you know that, didn't know that about me and Queen and Company? Well, you know what is funny? If we talk, um, I've probably worked for almost all of them out there. <laughs> Wendy is the best customer service as well. She is awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. For years and years and years, she used to work with a guy named Mike. I'm not sure if he's with the company anymore or not, but between the two of them, when we would be at trade shows, I'd always be seeing Mike and Wendy. So, yeah, been around. I'm a dinosaur, though, right? I've been around forever. 
but I do. I absolutely adore um, Queen and Company products. And you could manipulate. See, I could have bent this a little bit too, right? I bet if you guys are watching it, you're like, oh, that's painful. She could have done that a lot easier. What? Everybody loves my tape runner, right? Scrapbook adhesives, easy runner grand. I love it. Love it. I love them as a company as well, too. I've worked with them for a number of years. Yeah. Hi, Vicki. I can't wait to meet you someday. You're so fun and real. Thank you, Lori. Well, you know, I'm just crafter. So I look at it and go, I don't know how to be any other way than the way I am. And I saw Curry out there, right? Curry's out there. How you feeling, friend? Are you running marathons yet? I bet you she is. That's what Rich and I were saying. My friend Kari, she will be um, doing super duper things quickly. Can't keep her down. Okay, almost done. Uh, almost like cardboard. Taped two nested dies. Yep, totally. Right? The cardboard is faster, but this is what I had and I'm not a quitter. <laughs> Don't you laugh. I can't quit now. I started it. Got to do it. But yes, that is a great idea. If you would have cut the cardboard, Vicki, instead of doing all this fussiness with your uh, tape, it would have been a lot faster. True facts, friends, true facts. So the other thing I like to do, and maybe you don't, but I will do this. Vicki, what was your first craft job? My first craft job would have been... Um, I think uh, it would have been gelatin stamps and, uh, um, oh my goodness, I just forgot, Scraptivity kits. That was my first design team. I had gone to a class where hand doing hand lettering was a thing. Remember Becky um, Higgins did that hand lettering book? Sorry, my little guy is uh, stuck. And uh, then I saw an ad somewhere like back in the day, right? We had message boards galore. I'm just taking the stickiness away from the sides, right? Message boards galore. So yeah, that was my first thing was Scraptivity kits and gelatin stamps. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to fill the inside with the things I want to shake, shake, shake. So what do we think? I think the candy, this would be fun, right? I'm going to put some of the candies in here. Yeah, I'm just using this powder tool to take some of the stickiness away, right? And it might even take some of the static away, I wonder. Let's see. Woo! And then I'll just dust it out. We'll see if it helps at all or not. So we'll put some of these in there. I think those will be fun, don't you guys? I might have too many. I will show you. I'll bring it up closer. And take a few out. Don't want to rot my teeth. Too many of these. So see, as we're playing and, oh, that one's broken. We don't want that. Did you hear, I, who said it, that they put uh, two layers of cardboard? So you could use uh, scrap cardboard, right? And if you are like me and an online shopper, I've been getting lots of that stuff in the mail. Uh, it would have been way faster than Vicky taking 12 hours to put that foam tape down. A close to my heart class, right? Yep. Let me zoom in for you. Sorry, you're going to see my head, my arm. Here, let's do this. And I'll show you. So I put some little candy cane in there. And I think I want some of the glass glitter. What do you guys think? Should I do the glass glitter? Or I have these little... CD beads, but I think this could be fun, right? 
See this glass glitter? Let's just go for it, right? 12 hours. That's what it felt like, didn't it? You guys were watching and going, oh man, is she ever going to be done? Do, do, one day she'll be done. I just got to twist this. It's like a little thingy. There we go. You know, how much is too much or how much is not enough or what is what is the proper amount to be putting in your shaker box? But I think that'll be good. Okay, now I'm going to take all my backing off and I'm going to put my, oops, and try not to do that. Here's the other thing, friends. You don't want to shake it all around now because you don't want the stuff on the tape. So I'll try not to do that again. I'm going to try to be way more gentler. So if you would have done what my friend did and use the cardboard, you would be like laughing because you'd just be putting a little bead of glue on there and you'd be like, see, lickety split, Vicky Barba trick. And I'd be like, you're right, friend. You were way smarter than I was. So in hindsight, craft foam, anything that you could have as one continuous piece would be way easier than doing it the Vicky way. But I don't know. What do you guys like? Sometimes I do the most difficult way possible right sometimes i don't do it the easy way i do it the hard way because i'm like my kids and you'll say you could do this and i'd be i i would do it my way and i'm totally wrong which is what we have right now right with uh having kids that are a little bit older they will be like i know everything and i'm like okay not really, but if you think you do, let's see. Okay, I do things the hard way, right? Let's see. I love it, and I actually love the um, glass glitter in there because the silvery gray is a lot of fun with the... Um, black and white. What do you think? Do you like it with the candy canes? I'm digging it. So can you guys see that? Totally loving that. The big reveal, right? And then you see, did Vicky seal it up well, or is everything going to fall out of there? I think it's okay. I think that is just other bits, but we'll pretend that uh, I did it perfectly right? This is not pre-recorded. So whatever we got is what we got. But I don't know if that's on the back, on the front, or fallen out of my shaker. But I don't think it is. Okay. So to finish this, right? So you could have, so these are those fun things, lesson learned, is I probably could have put a little bit more in there if I wanted to. But there's the thing, right? Too much, not enough. You don't want to overfill it. So what this will be now is uh, decide how you want your top to go on, right? I think I like it like that. And then what I'm going to end up doing is putting uh, some greenery on here. This will be my simpler of the two cards. Right? The simpler of the two, but I will glue this on and then we could glitter it as well so we can just decide do we want to bring it down what do you think guys what did you make and was it way faster when you used the little cardboard than what i did that was painful to watch were you having a hard time watching it <laughs> but i think i'm going to still pop this up 
right? I'm going to pop, like double layer this to give it some dimension because it's going in my tag little sleigh. I totally can do that. I don't have to worry about it being too thick or bulky because it can be. There's no restraints on where it's gonna go. I'm not mailing this or anything. This is for my project, right? So I'm going to layer these. Maybe. Did not do a very good job with that. So I'll fix that. Doo -doo. Again, remember 4 a.m. bedtime. Sometimes it makes it a little harder to function. And then you can decide how you want that to go on there. I like it like that. And then I'm going to add some glitter and bits to this and greenery, right? I'm going to put some greenery on there and then just have that layer on there like that. What do we like better like that? No. We like it like this. Well, that's how I like it. There. So there's our little candy cane. And just imagine, right, on one of my pockets, I'm going to back it. And that's going to go on one of the pockets with our number. And then I'm going to put, uh, yeah, glitter cardstock. I love that. You know what else you could do? You know, you might have dyes that look like snow. Because I think the other thing that could be fun is, do I have any? Thing around here but cutting another one of these out of glitter but then doing it where it looks like it's dripping wouldn't that be kind of fun so you could totally do that you could uh coat the top with where is it I just had it my stickles right I could let that dry so I could totally coat it like it's dripping down like snow so I'll decide what I want to do with that but that is our first shaker, and I'm definitely going to put some little berries on it and some greenery and some words. What do we have around here that can be fun? Because it is to all the scale, right? Oh, and maybe I don't even have to. I could just put the holly leaves from Evergreen and Holly. Let's look. And that could be perfect. And I don't even have to do those extra. Look, I love it, right? Look at that. So I could do something like that. And I could even uh, add some layers to that. So let's just kind of play with this a little bit. Hi, Robin, how are you? Yeah, I love that. A snowflake or any kind of textured um, embossing plate for that white layer. I love that idea. Like, love that. If I hadn't done this already, maybe I might even, I love that idea, Megan, is do another one, but emboss it and then just have texture. Like, I would love that with polka dots or something. Oh, text. Now, see, Megan, I have to do it now. Megan made me want to do it. So I'm walking over to my embossing folders. Let's find a good one. Polka dots could work. It has to be smaller scale, right? Because you want to be able to see it on that area. Ooh, look at this, Megan. Here I come. Got the, look at this, Megan. Look at, won't that look good? Let's do it. That was a great idea. I love it. I love it. So guess what I'm doing again? <laughs> Peeling this off. Because if I'm going to put it through the embossing folder, it should totally be okay if I do this, right? Because you're not going to see it. It won't matter if it is um, 
a little bent and stuff because I'm going to put it through something that's going to create texture. So I could, if I wasn't lazy, I could cut it out again. We'll see if I can save it. I'm going to and just put it through here. White puff paint. So many good ideas, right? Yeah, I'm not going to, because we totally could. You could, I could put stuff in the embossing folder. I could ink the embossing folder. I could put some of my gold glaze. But let's, let's just emboss it. So I, I am lazy. <laughs> That's what I was going to get at. So this is what I'm going to do. I did not cut a new one. I'm just going to put that in and just decide which side I want it to pop up. It's going to be so much fun. This is why we're here for hours and hours and hours, right? That's why I'm here for hours and hours and hours. So let's see, was it, is this going to fit through? Sometimes I don't know what the sandwich is for this, right? Mm. I'm going to try it with just one plate. I have not used an embossing folder in some time. So let's see, is that heavy enough? No. Okay. I do not know what the sandwich, proper sandwiching is of this one. I don't think it's going to fit through on that. This one doesn't have... Oh, here we go. Take that out. Take that out. There we go. Okay. Look. Isn't that fun? And we could totally, I could just buff some of my glaze on top, which I would think I'd rather just do kind of a little finger buff of that. If I wipe out, it's because I tripped on the die cutting machine that I just put on the floor. Because you know it could happen. How about silver? Do I have silver handy? So I'm just buffing a little bit of silver glaze on those raised bits. But I don't want to cover all of it. So now it just has a little bit of shine on there. Very pretty. It will go nice with the black. It is no joke. That's why I'm looking at it going, if I get up to run to go find something else, just make sure I don't go down. <laughs> what does your craft space look like right now? Because... My table is a big table in the middle, right? So I'm working on the other side, right across from me is all of print shop set up. And then to come over here and work on this side is um, the area I'm gonna film in, right? Hi, Libby. I made a shaker, Lib. Look at, 
hats. All my card maker friends make me want to do all of the things. Oh, I'm loving that. Thank you very much for that. To make me get up and pull something else out to use, right? Absolutely love it. Very fun. Very, very fun. Very excited about that. Very excited about that. So let's put the tape back on because I'm going to pop it up. Yours is a mess. Oh, Stacy, right? It's like it starts out, I clean it, and it lasts for like a day. Hello, Darina. How are you? Did you have your nieces over or your family to craft with you yet? Okay, let's see if I can do a much better job lining this up now. <sighs> much better job. There. I do. I love that. Right? Hello from Colorado. How are you? And then I think this isn't done yet. I'm going to put a label and stuff on there, but right, you guys get the gist. So I'm going to layer some different things on here and then it will go on one of the tags. I will mat something on top and then that will go on one of them. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so that is one shaker. And then I will make my little pocket and gussy it up and I will share it with you when it's done. So the other thing that I have, now I wanna kind of layer, right? I just have to figure out where I just put everything behind me. So this is one of the backgrounds that I had made with my gel plate when we did last week, the gel plate printing. And I had this, I think is one of the ones I cleaned um, through the stencil on the plate. And I'm like, well, isn't that pretty? That will make a nice background, won't it? So I have these frames. So you just take a chipboard frame and I am going to cut that for the background. We'll cut the plastic out. I'm just gonna trace it now with a pencil, right? And then cut each of the pieces out and then pop that up. And then we can do like a diorama style and we can decide just, do we want the snowflake or snowman popped up inside? Or he could go on the outside of this with a tree behind him. Or we could put little stars inside. I think that could be fun. So let's just play and see, see what we end up getting. So I'm going to do two shakers tonight. And uh, I like this kind of worn look on the background from my gel plate print. So let's do that and find something to draw around it. I think my pencil's at a lead. It is, because <laughs> doesn't that make sense? Mickey's pencil is out of a lead. So this is gonna be slightly wider, right? So I will cut inside the pencil line For what I'm tracing. Okay. Well, the shaker stuff, it would just kind of shake around it, right? It should still be okay. So I'm going to cut inside my pencil line. Don't care if it's perfect. And then I'm going to do the same with the acrylic bit. So uh, did anybody make a shaker? Or are you just watching? Hello, Annette. How are you? My friend Annette is here. 
I'm going to be seeing you, hopefully. Do you think I get to see you when I am in Fort Lauderdale? I hope that I get to see you. That would be fun. Tell you where our hotel is, and then you can tell me um, where I can get some food and stuff. <laughs> right? I love it. So I love this. And I like the contrast of the red with that blue. And then it kind of looks like a little bit of snow behind there. And then we can decide what we want to put on our layers, right? So I like the little snowman inside. Kind of ties the um, red from the frame as well. So let's cut our plastic. You're just watching. You're watching and loving it. I'm loving that this was just one of those sheets I cleaned off. And this is why I'm saying your gel plate prints, you make your own custom pattern paper, right? Make your own custom pattern paper. That's a new sheet. Look in where I put everything. I have messes everywhere, all over the places. So I don't think a pencil is going to work on the acrylic, but I will try it because that's what we do, right? And if not, I'll just get a pen out. Let's see, does, does it show up? Nope, it does not. Will my pen? Hi, Mari, how are you? Hi, Margaret, how are you? I love shakers. It's probably like one of my most favoriteest things to make. Is that showing up? No, it's not. So what else do we have that is going to write on the plastic? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use that as a guide and we'll cut around it again. How about that? Vicky figures it out eventually, right? Some of you are probably yelling at me over there. Just use the snow, the piece you already cut. Right? And that's way easier. I don't have to clean anything up. I don't have to worry. I'm just going to use this as the guide. So what I love with this one is you don't have to have a fancy die cutting machine, right? You just need something that has an inner opening. So you could have taken a craft knife and cut it out. You could use circle punches. So this is something you could do with your kids because you can make a little trip to the dollar store and you could find things in the craft aisle. It does not have to be an expensive thing to do. You could put their art and make a little shaker box out of your kid's art. So this does not have to be a craft just for people who own all the fancy dancy tools. My little piece of plastic, pretty dirty. So let's just make sure it fits. It does. Almost. It's a little too big. So I will trim some of the extra off. Okay. A little bit too big. That is fixable. Better. Yep. Okay. So things that will work nicely, we can start deciding what we are going to want to build this up with. Where do I get my acetate? I own a whole bunch of it, but you can use old packaging. Um, we were talking about uh, the other thing that works nicely is um, if you go to a office store and they still have plastic sheets of, of, of plastic overhead projector. Sheets for the overhead. I look at Vicky's having to speak much, not much lately. Um, the sheets that they use for overhead projector, I used to be able to buy a whole package of them. They are not cheap though. I would also go on Amazon because some people, right, still make packaging. Like we'll make boxes for their baked goods and such. You can use um, old packaging. 
So any of your old packaging that has uh, clear sheets in it. For some of your stamp sets might have that little sheet of acrylic in it. So you could have like an extra of that. This one is going to be glued down. So nobody is going to see what a hot jacked up mess the back of it is. So I'm totally okay with the fact that it is like I've never used scissors before. <laughs> I don't know how to cut straight. Totally going to be okay. I love it though. Look how pretty with the gel plate print. So we could put rub-ons on this. We could layer some stars in the background because I think I have some stars around here. I will look and we can decide, do we want our little snowman inside? But I would like to pop him up. So with doing that, you made two already. I love it, Irene. What did you make? Oh, yeah, shrink plastic. You could use that, too. You bought some at Michael's and used a coupon. So, yeah, just take a look, right? Um, I've never seen it in that size you're using. I usually buy it in four by six. So it. I bought all of it when it was going out of stock, when they discontinued it at American Crafts. They had it for make, I'll show you what the package looks like. Just a sec. So if you ever see it at a clearance place or. Remember we used to craft everything. So look at, this is how I bought it. Clear plastic 12 by 12 create these boxes by using the we are memory keeper gift box punch board so it just probably was in michael's or joanne's or hobby lobby right and it just went with the punch board so they brought out accessory things so i used to buy lots of it when i handmade albums too right so it is like gold because they don't sell it anymore. Who knows, though? Because they could end up coming up with a tool that they need it. And they could start selling it again. But let's look at some rub-ons. Some other little bits. My little Mr. Holtz thingies. Tim. Just a sec, friends. I'm just grabbing some stuff out of my little box of goodies. So right behind me, I have little things, right? Little things. And we will embellish this guy. Somewhere I had, do you remember when we would buy rhinestones that came in like every kind of shape, right? Is it thick? It's not too, it's not super thick. It's perfect, right? This could be an ornament for the tree. It sure could. It sure could. You could, and you could cut circles out, and make ornaments. This would be a great thing to do with kids. Ooh, what am I looking at? In that but i used to have a pack of oh but we could put these and they look kind of like snowballs look at we could put some of these in the background right and then on our sheet of acrylic is this set of tim holtz remnant rubs oh you know who came out with rub-ons is scrapbook.com so i'm getting up again because I have stuff all over down here. So let's grab the other ones that I have. Let's see if we like any of those. And you know what else I have? I love rub-ons, friends. But I'm going to tell you, when you use rub-ons on a sheet of acrylic, you need to um, make sure it's placed exactly where you want it. Because there is no second chances because they stick immediately. Here's another company I freaking love, right? Another com 
Amazon has a 24 pack of 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 for 10 bucks. That's perfect, Pearl. I love that. That's perfect. Is uh, 49th and Market. Amazing company. So look, these are going to be fun. <gasps> yes, Vicky. Look at the music notes, right? So layering, layering, layering. Oh, we can put some uh, stars in the background. But I for sure would like to use some of these words. So let's decide where that's going to work. So let's say our snowman is going to be back there. I'm going to adhere this, okay, because I'll be able to still, I think, get my rub on on there, okay? So let's put this guy down. Let's put that on there and layer some magic. You have a box of uh, overhead transparencies. That's perfect, Elise. There, that's what I was looking for. I'm like, does anybody see my um, tape runner? And this is going to go on a tag, right? So I'm not super concerned if the back of this looks all janky. Won't matter. I do need to make sure to get my adhesive on here. And I'm going to put my acetate down. Okay. Just wiping it off and then line it up make sure it's all in side the frame that is a little bit outside love it so does anyone listen to audible we've talked about this before that is my new thing. I don't watch TV anymore or Netflix while I work. I listen to books. And I have to say, I love it. Riley loves it, right? I haven't used them yet. Is that your plastic sheets? I love 49th and Market. Me too. And the owner is amazing. So I love, like we talk about, supporting um, amazing companies. So let's look, what do we think if our snowman is going to go here, right? And our frame's going to go on top and it is going to be lifted. So imagine, right? Oh, I love that idea, but I bet I can't make it work unless I glue something behind it. Wouldn't that be cool to put him behind or on top? What do we think? Because we could put him on top too. Or I think he's good. He's got to go inside. Do you like that when I get super excited? Like, oh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are out there like that woman is a weird. O. weird. Oh, you listen to Audible. I absolutely love it. I'm going to force this to fit around here like this. I think I'll be okay. And now we'll cut it. And do it again. Oh, you know what? I should have done my rub on first, but so if you're doing this and you're putting a rub on, do your rub on first. I love Audible, so I have found I like murder mystery kind of thing, you know, and I found an off author because I do the whatever books I can get free plus my downloads, right? So we're going to see how janky this is. It's going to work. Yep, it's going to work, but I should have put the rub on first. That see, be smarter than I am. Don't do what I do. But I wanted to see it raised. But now, right, I'm not going to have a flat surface to do my rub on, but we'll make it work. It's going to be so cute. I love it. So now let's decide what would fit. Oh, look at Believe. 
That would be fun. We could do something that goes up like this. Um, jingle all the way. That would be fun. But I want something that for sure is going to stick, uh, stand out. Magical. But it has to fit. Season's greetings. Do, do. Which one will be good? December 25th. I like that. Let's see it. Let's see what it looks like. He's stuck on there. So that's why he's on there. Well, the shaker bits would go behind them, but they should shake around it, right? Because really, you could just pop him up with one little foam dot and stuff will just shake around him, I would think. Wouldn't you guys think that that's what will happen? So let me pull these out. Oh, so these are new. Scrapbook.com has rub-ons too, right? So these could be fun as well. The black, I think, would be awesome. Be jolly. We could put, but they're scale-wise, it's a little too big. But one of these little ones would be fun. So maybe I will layer one of those here, like the word, and put one of the colored ones on top of it. Thanks for sticking around, friends. Because I find the Friday nights, I tend to go longer because I just feel like making stuff, right? I just feel like making stuff. So what I'm going to tell you before you commit, you're going to want to take these. And I put my tiny attacher away. I always staple my backing so I can cut out what I want, right? So just keep that in mind that you're going to lay it down to figure out what you want to use, but you have to be ready to commit because as soon as these uh, rub-ons stick on that plastic, there's no second chance. There's no second chance. And I'm really kind of digging the December 25th, but I think it's too big. So here's my whole thing. Am I going to find one that the scale isn't too, too much? Oh, the red one would be nice. So let's try it, but I think it's going to be too big. So I will do it with the backing on here. Because he's going to be right about there. I think that could work, right? So the snowman is there. I think December 25th can totally work. I just have to put it as low as I can to the bottom of the frame. So I'm going to take the corners off of it. And I want it to kind of line up with that kind of little line on in the snow, the base of this, right? I love Friday nights as well. So is this, is the camera close enough? You guys can see well enough. So I think that would look fun right down there. I'm very excited about this as a matter of fact. But I think I, should I put my whole thing together? I don't know. Vic, Vicky's very indecisive Christmas crafter tonight. Okay, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing the things. So like I said, when this goes on, you have to make sure you know exactly where you want it to go. And I can move this around. I want this to be as straight as possible on the bottom of my frame. I think that will work. Is there any adjusting? No, I'm committed. So as soon as you get it on there, it's where it, 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 where it touches, it needs to just lie. Okay. And I don't think I should have to burnish this too much. I don't even know where I put my ball burnisher. I had it. Do you guys remember we were burnishing this week and then Vicki
was doing all the things. And I don't know where I put it. So guess what I'm going to use? Just the end of my paintbrush. Use this. And because I should not have put the foam on, it would have been great to have a flat surface. Let's see if I can't just put something underneath that'll fit in there that will give me a flat surface. So I'm just looking for something that I can wedge in there. You'll laugh, but how about a Swiffer cloth? And I'm just rubbing on here, but these rub-ons are really magical. So um, I can see it start to go milky. So it means it's releasing from the backing. So we'll be okay. So think of the rub-ons as like layering stamps. I can kind of layer a fun pattern with these rub-ons that are on the clear part. I think we have success. Look at that. Very dusty. Swiffer cloth to the rescue. I wish that the Swiffer cloth was actually a um, dryer sheet or that it would work like a dryer sheet and take the static off of that. Totally love that. What do you guys love? think about that? It's cute, right? And now, remember, I said the scrapbook.com one, maybe one of these little ones. It's not little enough. Tim will be, though. I wish he had a label. That's what I would make me happy. Because I could put December 25th, and then I want one of the little solid black ones. What do we have? Anything? It's got to be little enough, right? Oh, you know what? I'm going to put one of these on there. Let's add a little dimension. So when we put our backing on, right, it's going to go on like this with our little snowman. It's going to be so cute, friends. So this, to me, we're making it very kind of scrapbookerly, right? And then I want to put some things in the background, and then we can have like our little snow bits and shaker bits going. But then I can layer one of these on the outside. December 25th, be merry. I like it. Oh yeah, we could put a rub on on the inside too. Maybe one of the little music notes. Totally can do that, right? I'm not going to lie, that stuck down right away without me being able to straighten it. So I'm hoping I can lift it up a little bit without, oh, I might just have to go with it. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So here, let's talk about what we're going to put inside. So I, remember I had done these little snowballs. What do we think? Should I do it? Let's see how staticky they're going to be. That. Although, look at, doesn't that kind, isn't that kind of cool? Because they look a little bit like, oh my goodness, isn't that crazy? They're like Mexican jumping beans. Does it even, do they fall off even? See, that's, mm, I don't know. What do we think? No, Vicky's not using those. So see, always have to have a second plan. These things are crazy. They stick everywhere. They were flying across my room. The static in here is crazy. So I'm not using those. We'll use something else. But I am going to put a rub on the music notes inside. And we will 
not use these because they are incredibly um, charged. So I'll use them on something else. But you saw that, right? Like, look. <gasps> no bueno. What do you guys do to take the static off of your projects? I'm going to try some of my little chalker thing and see if it'll help. Huff on them, it helps. I huffed, I puffed. They're charged balls, I'm telling you. I don't have an anti-static pad, but I do have my chalker thing, which is the same thing, right? So let's see if this will help with the glitters. Just kind of powder that up. I'll dust it off. Dust it off. Okay, let's put something else in here. So these are my options. I have these um, beads. Oh, look at, look at these. Let me show you. I have uh, the glitter, this. That would be fun too, see? I want that for sure. Some of that snow. And then we have these beads. Are they gonna shake? These are like little plastic tubes. So they're not shaking around very well either. They're little tubes of plastic. It's like it, um, they got stuck together Mmm, Vicky's not having any kind of um, luck tonight. Are you noticing that? Because I'm like, I don't like those either. I did not. I thought they were beads in there, but it is like they're like little, like you took a straw and cut pieces off of it. Does that make sense? And now that you guys are telling me about static things from whatever rabbit hole and I'll go shopping after, I just don't have those things now, right? So you know what we do, we use what we have. So now we just got to figure out, I could put some sequins in there, but these are the weirdest things. Like, look at, they're little clear plastic tubes. Rub with the dryer sheet. All these things are awesome. I just don't have anything down here, right? So I'm going to go with one of my other things that are here. I'm just going to use what I have. But we have put the rub on on the back too before I commit. But yeah, they're little like crunchy, like squishy. Like, let's see that. It's just like a little tube. <laughs> Do you like that laugh? <laughs> So what do we have? We have, oh, we have stars. Where are they in here? Because these are open, right? They're rainbow stars, though. So I can't just pick out the colors that I want. But Or can should we do, could we do a rainbow? Look at the rainbow stars. That could be fun in there. We have rainbow stars. I have silver sequins. But they're pretty big. I have green sequins, which aren't very snowy. And I have a hole in my bag. So I'm going to go take one more look. See, it's not fun when all your ideas don't come together, right? See, that was me tripping on my uh, die cut machine like I told you I was going to do. I have little crystals. 
I have glitter. So I will pull over the, oh, look it, but they're not very heavy. Like you said, I need something heavy, right? So I will show you what I have. These are the things that Vicki has. So we're just going to have to make something work. So now here's our little lesson seed beads yeah i have this but you're not going to really see much of it we could do more of the glass glitter that's that fly um what was the other thing i have these which would be perfect but we'll see they're going to stick all over and i'm just going to commit but i do want to put the music note on there okay because i think that would be fun in the background don't you so do we like the red one? A little piece of that red music note? The heavy will move the other stuff around, yeah. See when this goes on here. Do we want some of that red music note? Or I think the black. I'm going to put this black here. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of that. And then I am going to add my stuff and we'll just see what we end up with. Sometimes we just got to make do, right? Got to make do with what you have. Because sometimes, well, I'm sure you guys do it all the time when you're playing with me, right? Is that sometimes um, the things that I use, you're like, I don't have that. So I had to just find this. Like, I love Irene used uh, paper towel because she didn't have tissue paper the other day, right? So, I love it. We just use what we have. So, I'm going to glue my little snowman down. And then let's do the little rub on. Up in this corner. Look at for all the music that um, I read, music notes I read, but it was on there like that. So just do that. Just adds another layer. Oops. Just have to make do sprinkle with the powder dust i did it's not doing anything and i'm even gonna sprinkle some more powder dust on there let's try it i put lots on there it is not de-staticking my stuff we'll try it See what happens. It'll give it like a frosted. I just made my the glass all look. Um, Jack frosted it. Ooh. Let's see. So you guys saw that. I just put tons of powder on there. Let's see if it makes any kind of a difference. And we're going to add what we have. So I have these little snow bits. That might be nice, right? So I'll put some of that. Put some of that. I'm going to put, what else did we decide? Some of these glittery ones. Oh, it's new.
What else do we want in there? Do we want some of the glass glitter? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe some of these little seed beaties. Okay, that's what we're going with. Now, the other thing I did want to put in here are um, some little bits in the background to add a little texture. So you guys can see, because now I have a, what do you call that? What is that word? There's a whole bunch of, it's perfect mix. Well, it's what we got, right? So we're just going to make it work like we do. Move that up so you guys can see it tidy up because I am making a mess and it makes me get a little bajiggity but I thought some of these in the background could be fun right like just put a couple of those little dots down Moving him over just a little, little bit. Put this guy on there. Just think that little bit of texture in the background, right? Could be cute. Okay, let's see. It could turn out really nice or... You could be like, yep, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. We'll see. We'll see what we get, right? Now, the un only unfortunate thing is I'm not going to be able to line that. Bit up the way that I want to. I'm making a little mark so I know where my um, snow is on the background because I don't want this to be kind of on an angle, right? And it's not perfect. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yes, when your pen works. And the other thing I wanted to look at is where my 25 is. So you know what would be awesome if you guys had a mat in the background that had lines on it? Because then I could use my lines, right? I don't have that. <laughs> so Vicky's going to have to just eyeball that. Trying to keep my line straight-ish. But we'll just go for it. Let's see what we get. Does it turn out perfect? Does it turn out like poop? We will see. Okay, let's see what happens. It's cute. But it will be like uh, he's getting snowed on. So these are lessons for today. Get a, something that creates or takes a static away, right? That is my takeaway for today. Is you want to make sure that Frosty isn't in a total blizzard where you can't see him. <laughs> that is my lesson and takeaway. But I can get the stuff to kind of fall down there. But he's cute. Still turned out cute. Right? But just kind of keep that in mind. Frosty is in a blizzard. But it's cute. I like it. There we go. And I'm going to still decorate it. So tonight we made... Frosty got caught in the blizzard, Irene. But it looks pretty when you let it stack it all in the bottom. I lost my total blue line. I would move... Frosty up now 
if I could open it up, I would just move him up and I'd be completely happy with it. But what I will do is um, I will put a label or something on here to fill some of that empty space and it'll be totally fine. You know, I'll do something to make it fun, but it's cute. But look at now. Oh, Frosty, take cover. It's a blizzard. <laughs> that this is Vicky just going. It's it looks exactly like I meant it to look right. It looks exactly like I meant it to look. Yes, Frosty would be happy in a blizzard, right? He's in his happy place. So he is in a foot of snow. We totally covered the bottom of him, but I am loving the rub-ons on the outside. Like I said, in hindsight, I would have moved him up, but it's totally okay. We're going to go with it. They're cute. I will do something fun. I will end up making my envelopes for them to go on. And he is going to go on some way like this. I think this one is going to look like an ornament and I'm going to tie a ribbon and hang it off of my um, card like this, right? And then I'm still going to embellish the top of this a bit. But I think that'll be fun, right? Imagine it with a ribbon tied at the top, right? And it will look like it's hanging off the top of the card. So that will be this one. And then I will do something fun with this guy. He's not decorated yet. I'm going to do something. You guys are so nice to me because it really is like, you know, when you have like all the best intentions and you're like, it's going to turn out so good. And then you're like, oh, okay. I just got to go with it. That's kind of how I feel about Frosty. I might end up remaking it and I will share what I end up with. I don't hate it. It's just, I need to get something that takes the static away, but it is, see that these are really pretty. You do have to say, I think I just put too much in this one or the other one. It wasn't enough, but those little seed beads look like little uh, bits of frost on the glass. So kind of cool but too hard on yourself Debbie it's not I'm too hard on myself but I also love my shaker boxes so it's not like I will throw this in the garbage I just will uh maybe give it one more try I also have to stock up on different shaker bits because I have to say there's something to be said for ones that are like this because they don't have as much static, right? When you guys said find heavier things. Yeah, the star, I could totally do a star. Or remember I said my gift ideas, maybe I'll do the gifts because that is the other thing that I wanted to do, right? Is like a rectangle and then a smaller one of just open squares with the shakers inside. I might do that too with the rub-ons on the front. So uh, stay tuned. I will share whatever I end up making. But look at I've loved everything I've done up until this one has not been, it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to, but this one did. I love this guy. I do. I am in love with my um, stocking. That's what this is called. The clay bits are easier to use for shakers, definitely. I just need to find all of the suggestions you guys gave me for, um, yeah, snowflakes would have been awesome too, right? for the de-staticking tool. Cause none of this is sticking, but this one, woo wee. Frosty is in a snowstorm. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think too, if he was moved up a little bit, right? So that with all the stuff in the bottom, this negative space is bothering me a little bit, but it is not, there's nothing I, you can do now, right? It's stuck together, so. This, for me, is a 7 out of 10, not a 10. But because I'm not a quitter, you know I will find something that I will add to this and still use it. I just need to fill some this space up here, which could, let's see, let's take a look. You know what I mean? Those, like, even something, whatever, right? Oh, look it. Like, that kind of thing. I'll just, I'm going to layer something on top of there to finish it, and it will be okay. And it will be a 9 out of 10. Gina K said, wash the acetate in soapy water. 
Gina K. Gina always knows. Thank you for that. Thank you for that very much, um, Jamie. I love that because now I know, right? I will, I'll, I'll test it. We'll test it. So um, I will do another one and I will test that and let you know how that turned out. I made a number of shaker cards and my first one was my prototype. I knew for the next one how to do the placement. It would have been a lot easier, Carrie, too, if I hadn't hand cut it, right? If they were, um, it all lined up a little bit better. But it's okay. Remember, this is how we learn. Like I said, I don't hate it. I'm still going to use it. But in hindsight, I would do some things a little bit differently. Let's see what Mr. Holt has in some of his little ephemera packs. Um, that is a lot of greenery, but I don't think the scale is right. Too big. There's a lot of stuff in here, but you get what I'm saying, right? I'm going to add something in that corner to embellishment, embellishment, <laughs> embellish it. Cause I do like that. And then I will just kind of layer something up here. And that feels better to me is to fill that corner snowflakes. That's what we will find. I am going to let's look. That just popped into my head. Snowflakes. We need a snowflake. So I have these ones that are just little wood ones. Let's look. <gasps> look. Look at that, friends. I could totally do something like that. Don't you think? Layer a little snowflake up there. I like that. I feel better about it already. A little snowflake. And I think he only needs one. And I'll put something. I think two is too much. Two is too much. I will show you what I'm talking about. Need a pop dot. Ha! Huh. I just I cut a sparkly snowflake and put on the edge of the frame too. I do. I think that makes a difference, right? Look. And then I can fill the center with something. I totally like that. And it does tie into the whole snowstorm. So let's go with it. Vicky's just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Let's get some glossy and then we'll let it sit and dry. I have tiny little metal ones. Guess what? I have those too. Maybe I'll layer one on top. Let me see. Let's do the things. Because don't forget too, when you're doing it live, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard because I'll be sitting here going, okay, how do I, I want to show my peoples, my friends that are showing up with me. And sometimes I'll do it and I'm like, oh, it's going to take a minute. This is going to require a little bit of time for me to figure out how I fix it, but I'm feeling a little bit of pressure doing it with my friends watching me. So um, that's why a lot of times I'll be like, okay, I'm going to finish this after and I'll share the end result because sometimes I got to walk away from it, right? Glossy accents, why do you always have to clog on me? There we go. Get the little booger out of it. Wipe that on my wipe here. Okay. So one star, star, one snowflake is going to go like that. Okay. And this guy is going to be oop, popped up beside it. Like that. And then we have to leave it to dry. And I have these too. I have the little Tim Holtz ones, right? The little metal ones. Is that the ones? Are those the ones that you have? I have lots of little things. I'm going to have to play. 
because I will embellish this more. Like I will play with this and do some different things, but we have to leave that to dry. Doesn't feel like it's drying, gonna stick there at all. We'll see what happens. Leave it alone, Vicki. So I will leave that to dry. This guy's gonna go beside it. I actually really love that. See, that's why you don't quit. That's why you don't kick it. That's why you don't kick it. Everything can be fixed. Well, everything is like, maybe it's just not done yet, right? Like everything is where it's like, it's a good start and then we'll just add some stuff to it, but I don't mind it. I'll just let it dry and I'm gonna put a little bit more embellishment on there. And then I'll put something in the center of my snowflakes and I might put a little banner across the bottom, right? Like another word. Let's look. So right now, right? It says December 25th, be merry. And then we could add something like that. And we're already starting to build up some dimension, right? I like it. It will be good when it's done. I just have to layer some stuff on it. Because now that I filled that corner and with the little music notes up there, I actually don't hate it. So I'll show you because there's a reflection on it, but right? It's cute. He looks like a little snow globe snowman. So I just got to let those um, dry. So hopefully it's going to actually adhere. Don't know. And then um, I'm going to embellish it a little bit and I will share. So I feel like I'm going to find a little piece of pattern paper to go behind that so that it's layered and I'll put a little bit on the bottom, right? December 25th. And then I also will have to find the place for my number because I'm doing one through 12, right? So let's give you a little peeker of that. Like what would be a good one for this one? Maybe number four. So these are the numbers I have, right? So I could put, oh, look at, look at that, friends. And then I could layer my number seven right up on top of that. That glue is not working. I'm going to have to glue dot it, I think. Um, look at, that would be fun, right? I love it already. Okay, that's totally working. So I could use the number seven or the four. Four could work on here. And then layer the second snowflake. So I'll figure it out. I don't like the four, I like the seven. And then there's five, but I don't like it with five. Seven it is. Right. Hello, Kim. So I'm going to do something like that. I like it. It's working. As I fart around with it, I will find a better solution. And then I can tie some of that green in behind. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. The merry bells keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. I'm going to show you look what I'm talking about. I just feel like I need to tie some of that in there, right? I just have to find a green that matches that green because it's pretty limey, which might not be in the paper pad. I might have to go into the full pads of paper but you get what I'm saying right picking up what I'm putting down this does not match it but I will show you what I'm talking about and uh, remember friends if you are just checking in I'm going to go live in our private group if you did evergreen and holly on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for the bonus class that I told you guys I was going to do. Okay, so if you are around and you want to join me live, yay. If you have to watch it after the fact because you have uh, life stuff going on, it will be there and recorded 
um should I, I do it on, I think I'll do it on YouTube because there are some people who just don't do Facebook. So I think I'll put the link there, but it will be on YouTube. It is private just for the people who did the class using our scraps. Okay. So just another one, another bonus. So if you're hanging around on Sunday and you uh, feel like hanging out with me and doing that, see? That little bit of green to tie it in. I like it. Okay, and I'm gonna cut a little V. I will send a little newsletter out because the trip to Greece is up on Cruising Crop. There are two posted if you feel like going on a cruise. Here's the other thing I want to say about that, friends, is you have a year pretty much to pay your balance because we booked it and it's not until the summer. So you will have a, you'll have to put your deposit down, but then you will have a chunk of time that you can uh, be putting a little bit down every month. So definitely and I might even look at, I might even cover up the, the black one. We'll see. But see, look, that's going to be cute, right? Totally cute. So we'll decide maybe that. Not sure yet, but I might cover the Be Mary up because it's crooked anyway. And then maybe find a black word to put on here. But totally loving that. Now I don't hate it anymore. And, you know, I kind of did at the beginning. So uh, I will do some fun things right on these, layer them, and they're going to go on two tags. And I love it. So do we have any questions? The giveaway tonight that I will post, I'm just moving my computer, and I'm going to flip the camera. Right? It's lots of time. So what I love is that you guys have been asking for a new cruise. I thought Greece would be a fun one. Everyone tells me it's absolutely beautiful. So, flipping the camera. Here we go. Boop, boop. Hi. Uh, that was lots of fun tonight. So giveaway. I'm going to be posting it. Pocket board mini scoreboard absolutely loving this using this if you're doing print shop with me you're gonna like that it's gonna come in handy scissors um look at a whole bunch of shake shaker stuff look at these little mini envelopes the candies the jar uh, some adhesive. It's a good one. It's going to be lots in there. And scissors. It's just kind of a, a basic tool kit. Some of Vicky's favorite things. Uh, on Wednesday, it is going to be that huge Vicky Booten prize pack. The big one I shared is going to be on Wednesday. I don't remember what we're doing. Layering and different things. And then um, on Friday... The last one that I'm going to be doing for a while, it will be my last live. I will be taking a couple weeks off, friends. Uh, if I can record something that I can plan to pop up, I will. If not, it'll just be a break until the new year. But uh, it is going to be a um, gift certificate to my store, the value of a print shop kit. So if you haven't purchased Print Shop and you win it, you can totally get the Print Shop kit and then join us on at the end of January. Or if you've already bought Print Shop, then you can save it for the next class or buy whatever you want when I stock up the store. So it will be fun. I just got my hair cut. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, I did Italy a few years ago and it was wonderful. I love that. Yeah, um, I love that. I actually... I'm working on uh, an event in Italy for 2024, right? Yes, 
because I couldn't do this year. But yeah, we'll I'll be doing an event there too. Enjoy your live tonight, Love Shakers. You're awesome. Thank you, Kay. It was a little bit of a struggle, but you know, we can always bring it back around and make something pretty out of it. I like it now. I like it now. So that's that's a good thing, right? So thank you so much, my friends. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. If you are part of the Evergreen and Holly uh, event and you feel like joining me, I'll see you at one o'clock Eastern time for a little lunch and learn, a bonus class that I'm gonna have everything prepped and I will share what I'm using so that you can make with me. And I'm thinking uh, a layout for sure, a layout for sure. And then uh, there might be a Carter tag. So we'll see you then friends. Thank you so much. Don't forget to go onto my Facebook artist page to enter in the drawing for this tool kit, all these tool giveaways. And I might even add a surprise in there outside of what's photographed. And uh, when this video is done, you can also leave a comment in the regular comment section for a second chance to be entered in the draw. All of the drawings will be done. I think I said the 27th and then announcing it on the 28th. I will post it under each individual giveaway. Um, it will say edited. Um, yay, congratulations. And whoever won it, and then you just need to get in touch with me to claim your giveaway. So, so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my friends, for joining me tonight. If you're watching after the fact, thank you as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and like the video. If you're on YouTube, make sure you're liking and following um, on YouTube and also on Facebook. So thank you so much, friends. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful night and a great weekend. And I'll see you either Sunday or Wednesday next week for some more of these holiday crafting, uh, whatever I'm sessions, whatever I'm calling it. It's late now. right? We'll see you later, friends. Have a great night. Bye-bye.